Today's question given is a quadrant with a circle inside it. The circle is touching at the radius and the circumference of the quadrant. The distance between the center of the quadrant and the point of tangent, this distance is given as 5 cm. Using this data, we have to find the distance of line segment AB, where AB is tangent to the circle. So to solve it, let's assume the radius of the quadrant is capital R and the radius of this small blue circle is small r. Now let's name these points. Let's call these centers as O and this center as Q. This point of tangent, let's call it P and this point, let's call it M. We know that if two circles are touching each other, then their center and the point of contact, all three are collinear. They will lie on same line. <clears throat> QM, QM is nothing but the small radius R. OM, OM is big radius, capital R. And thus OQ, OQ will be capital R minus small r. Now let's look at the triangle OPQ, that is this particular triangle. So in this triangle, it's a right angle triangle. So let's apply Pythagoras theorem. So we are getting OP square plus QP square that's equals to OQ square. Putting the value, we'll get phi square plus R square. That's equals to R minus R whole square. So we'll use this data later on. Let's form another triangle. For our next triangle, let's join point B and Q. Now BQ is radius and radius is perpendicular to tangent. So this angle B is 90 degrees. Let's join AQ and let's assume AQ is X. So in triangle ABQ, that is this yellow triangle, we are applying Pythagoras theorem. So AB square plus BQ square, that's AQ square. Putting the values, AB is what we have to find. So AB square plus R square, that's equals to X square. Now if you'll see here, we have got three variables are there and only two equations. So we need third equation to solve this. So for third equation, we are dropping a perpendicular from Q on AO and let's call this point as point N. Now in this your QP and NO they will be equal. They are distance between the parallel lines. So NO is nothing but R. Now full AO is capital R. So AN will be capital R minus small r. So in triangle ANQ <coughs> in this triangle let's apply Pythagoras theorem. So we'll get a n square plus n q square that's equals to a q square. Putting the values we'll get r minus r whole square plus phi square that's equals to x square. Now this blue equation and yellow equation LHS both are equals to x square. So comparing this we are getting a b square plus r square will be equal to r minus r whole square plus phi square. So we have just eliminated x square. Now this from this equation we will subtract our first equation that's this pink equation. So let's write this equation again. So when we are subtracting here your r square will get cancelled down and r minus r whole square this will also get cancelled down. So on simplifying we will get a b square minus phi square. This is equals to phi square. Taking 5 square on other side, so we'll get AB square is equals to 2 times of 5 square. Solving it, we'll get AB as 5 times of root 2 centimeter. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.